Okay, this is Serval we're, and Son. We're back. I'm going to try not to say um so much because I was nervous the first time. I didn't realize I was saying it. <laughs> anyway, um, oh. showed my... Oh, I did say it. Mm -hmm. Showed my last cell, which was bigger. And today I built this one. This is uh, about a quarter of the size. It's six. Uh, what I did is I took a piece of nylon and we drilled it out, or not, well, we bored it, so it was this diameter to fit in my tube, about four inches, and spaced the uh, holes out. We drilled out three quarter inch holes with a, what do you think? Oh, with a fly cutter. And that way we could press in a three quarter inch, and then we pressed in a one inch tube. Um, when we bored those, we only went halfway down, so they, they sat in here, and the three quarter went, went all the way through. As you can see, like that. So they're all pressed fit in here. What we did is we sanded down the edges of the fly cutter so it would press fit in. The pipe would press fit in. So we took a couple thousands off. Uh, and then on the inside, you can see we took these little rubber tabs um, and stuck three of those in there to kind of help space it out. Then what I did is each tube, I want to, I have three phase, so... Um, I, I welded two together, so there's two welded together, each one. And then all the negatives we welded together. I have one single wire going up through here. And we put it in the tank, and it didn't really work too good, but I didn't insulate the wire going up through, and I didn't insulate in between or the wires here, which really should be insulated if they're in the wire. Water, sorry. So I had a different idea. Um, we got a lot of production in between these tubes. That's where your hydrogen's produced. What I was thinking about doing is actually taking my fly cutter, going down the middle here with a one-inch fly cutter, and I'm going to put a tube that goes all the way down, and then I'm going to TIG weld that with a bridge to the negative. So that way we're going to have production in between each of the tubes, and then we're also going to get production in between the outside tube and the center. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So we're going to try that. Uh, tomorrow's another day, I guess. And we'll uh, put it in and show you tomorrow because this really didn't work too well at all. Um, Got to insulate the wires. But I think even then, um, th my first cell, for some reason, I don't know if the resonance was closer, uh, but it worked a lot better than this one. So we're going to give it a shot tomorrow and see if we can get the... Resonance tuned a little bit and give it a shot. See you next time.